Hey, future Broncos and future Bronco families. Thank you for tuning in on another episode of Project Caminos, the Bronco Scoop. If this is your first time listening in, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you're a Bronco Scoop Pro, welcome back for more of the good stuff. My name is Dakari. I am a second year transfer student studying psychology here at Cal Poly Pomona and student assistant of Project Caminos. So on today's episode, I'm going to share with you all some information about Cal Poly Pomona's farm store. To help me do this, we have a very special guest from the farm store. My name is Dawn Tacon. Um, I'm the manager of the farm store. My 13 year anniversary is coming up August 4th. And there's so many unique things that I love about the farm store. I'd probably take hours to go through it. And they're asking for one. One of my favorite things is hearing people's comments when they come into the store and just, I love this store. Oh, this is my favorite store. And all through COVID and all that we've been through, we did not close. We were open through the whole time. It's been quite an adventure. So I would say just being able to, to have people find joy in something that we do here, that's super unique. And I love that about the farm store. Yes, that's really good. And congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. That's really nice. And I I definitely could imagine the excitement of people walking in because myself going through the website, when I think about going to the farm store, I'm like, I feel like I'd be in the farm store for probably like an hour just looking at individual item that's available there. But thank you so much for joining us today. We truly appreciate your time and I'm definitely looking forward to this juicy and delicious information you're going to share with us. But before we start learning more about the farm store, we're going to start off with some true or false questions. So Don, for our first true or false, it is Cal Poly Pomona's farm store grows its own watermelon that has red, orange, or yellow on the inside. So is that true or false? True. True. For the second one we have, true or false, farm store customers can grind their own peanut or almond butter to take home. True. True, okay. So true or false, the farm store uses Cal Poly Pomona grown oranges to make freshly squeezed orange juice. True. True, okay. So true or false, students can use Bronco books to purchase items from the farm store. That's true. And we also take meal points. Oh, and meal points. So that's cool. So all Mm -hmm. those are true. And just for those prospective students out there who aren't aware yet, Bronco books is something like a debit card for on campus. So the way that this works is you load money onto the card and then you can use it to make purchases around campus where Bronco books are accepted. So that's something that you all can look forward to once you're here at Cal Poly Pomona with us. So now that our true and false segment is over, we're gonna go ahead and get into the questions to learn more about the farm store. So for our first question, Don, it is, I see that on the farm store website, there are many different kinds of honey available, such as wildflower honey and creamed honey. Can you tell us a bit about how these two products differ? Yeah, so we sell our Cal Poly honey here. We have avocado, wildflower, and orange blossom. We sell it in the 16 ounce bottles. And we also have a U-fill. So you can purchase a honey bear here and fill it with the honey, or you can buy it already filled. The difference between the two is the creamed honey is is more something that you would put on toast. It's a creamy uh, consistency, solid in color, whereas the honey, the other honey is pourable and and not a solid, you know, it's kind of a see-through color. Yeah. Um, And they're both fantastic. On the creamed honey, we have the cinnamon, the regular cream honey, and chocolate. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. I've never heard of creamed honey before. So when I saw that, that really grabbed my attention. Yeah, it's it's really delicious. Absolutely. I could imagine it's like pretty popular among the customers that walk into the store. 
So for our next question, what are some of the other specialty items that are unique to Cal Poly Pomona's farm store? One of our top sellers is our orange juice because we juice about five times a week and it's made with our oranges that we grow on campus and it's just the orange juice. We don't add any fillers. The machine just squishes the orange and out comes this beautiful juice. So you'll find when you come that it's separated. And you'll think, well, that's weird because I don't see that in the store. And that's because the stores put additives in it that so it doesn't separate or the carton you can't see through. Whereas with ours, you can see through it and it's you got to make sure you shake it before you drink it. But we sell one of our top sellers is our orange juice. We have all of our Cal Poly produce that's grown on campus here. So our highlights like right now we have our watermelons you talked about. And the cool thing about the orange and yellow and um Red watermelon is if you take it and make a fruit salad with it, people think that the orange is cantaloupe and the yellow is pineapple. So it just trips everybody out because they're eating it going, well, that doesn't taste right. Uh, so right now we'll have them for about a month and when they're gone, they're gone. And we get so many people in for that watermelon. I mean, all year long, we get phone calls about the watermelon. So any of our produce that we grow here on campus, you just can't beat it. It's, it's picked daily, it's brought into us, and the taste is far surpasses, to me, anything that you can buy in the store. So we, that's very unique. We also have many different honeys, not only our honey, but we have honey from different venues. We have one in out of, coming out of Temecula. I, I also purchase honey out of Idaho. We have honey sticks. Uh, just to give you all a variety of the different um, spun honeys and the creamed honeys and the honeys that we have. We also sell what's called, uh, we have our bottled milk that comes from Rosa and that's a big seller. We have chocolate strawberry. We have our little teeny 12 ounces that are uh, root beer, orange cream, strawberry, whole milk, um, and chocolate. So a lot of that too. And then as you come in, I mean, I could spend an hour literally talking about all the different products that we have in the store. We have so many jams and jellies and salsas and we try to keep things stocked for the students to come in and buy. And we have a, you know, we have a, um, a section where we have cheeses and, and uh, meats. We will be bringing back our sandwiches. We order sandwiches through our bread. That's another unique item that we sell out of Old Town Baking Company out of Rancho Cucamonga. They provide all of our bread and we will start selling their sandwiches next month when school starts. And so that's awesome. You can get that here. And it's just, we have gift items and signs and fun little knickknack stuff and birthday things and mugs. And, you know, I do all the buying for the store and I am always on the lookout for something different, something unique and uh, something that. I hope everybody enjoys and it's just it's just a super awesome fun country just specialty store with lots of wonderful things <laughs> yes. so I highly recommend you come because it's it like I said it, it, it literally could take me hours to go through everything that's in that store yes that's why I feel like if when I go I'm gonna be in there for hours because there just seems like there's so much in there and it's so unique and rare just to the store like you won't be able to find it unless you're at the totally. totally. store yeah totally totally agree and also we have a nursery that's hooked right to us which idea for you guys you may want to do a podcast on that one um, we have a whole nursery and we just sell tons of plants coming out of that nursery so that's a whole nother section of the farm store that um, you guys could really investigate and for those like they have really unique tomatoes like when we do they do a tomato mania and there's 300 different varieties of tomatoes and they oh, wow. do um, really hot peppers like right now they're really selling a lot of hot peppers so that's also hooked on to the farm store so when you come into the farm store you can go right into the nursery and that's uh, also a fun thing to do that's truly so amazing. So for all of you listening in, definitely make sure you visit the farm store to catch some of these in-season produce. So for our next question is, can you tell us about the custom gift baskets that are available for purchase? Yes. So we do hundreds and hundreds of gift items and gift baskets. We do two things. One is where you can come in and pick out all the different items we charge $15 
I might be going up to 20, sorry, but everything's going up. <laughs> so and that's included the wrapping, we put it together, the basket, the bows, it's, it's a beautiful presentation. And that's where you can just pick out things or you can email me, you can call us and say, hey, I need a thank you basket, I need a birthday basket. And you give us a budget and we go with that. Due to COVID, we had to do a lot of our baskets on in our boxes. So we have fruit boxes and also in those fruit boxes, we also can put um, jams and jellies and, and anything, but really um, we can do citrus, but we can't do any vegetables. And so if you go on our website, there's a lot of information about the baskets and the boxes. So we are able to ship. You can come in and pick it out. We can work with you on it. And we do hundreds and hundreds of baskets and boxes a year, especially through Christmas time. And we've done a lot through COVID. A lot of the um, different uh, departments on campus have ordered them and have them sent to their students or, or different students, I guess, is where they all got mailed to. And we also had, you know, since everybody was online, you would have different speakers. And so people would call us and say, hey, so-and-so spoke to me, but they live in New York. Can you send them a thank you? And, and off we did. So birthdays, anything, the presentation of the baskets and the boxes are great and information's on our website for that. That's really awesome. I'm definitely thinking about getting one of those baskets for myself. And then for our last question we have, are there any items or CPP grown produce that you use to create your own recipes at home? Yeah, all of it. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, cause like right now we have our corn. So I make a corn relish or, and a corn um, salsa. I do all of our onions are spectacular. So whatever you use onions for. Um, oh yeah. I mean, it, it's, the sky's the limit. Like I said, with the watermelon, I made watermelon skewers I made watermelon. They're called little watermelon balls. And everybody thought they were eating something different than watermelon. So sky's the limit with everything that we, that we sell here. Mm -hmm. That's really great. So for those prospective students out there that are learning how to cook, Cal Poly Pomona's farm store has fresh produce that you can use in your recipes. And also the, the biggest, one of the challenges that the store has is nobody can find us. So we are not on the main campus. We're across the street on Temple. So if you walk straight across the street from the campus to Temple and you'll see a big white fence, that's where we are. You'll see the big sign that says farm store. So a lot of people get lost on campus and they don't know where we're at. I know that the buses, once they start um, going around the school, they will, they do drop off here. And so we're right next to the suites. Like if you live in the suites, oh my gosh, we're perfect for you to come and shop. We're right next door to you. Yes. And always remember that we take your meal points and your Bronco bucks. That's the best part about here. You can come and spend that here. And if you get to the end of your year and you've got hundreds of dollars, well, you know where to come to spend it because we've had <laughs> kids walk in with $1,500 on their card. And uh, this is the best place to come and spend it. So we encourage... Um, we encourage you spending all your money here at the farm store. <laughs> <laughs> yes, especially for those students who are going to be joining in that are going to be living on campus. So if you live in the suites, definitely make Cal Poly's farm store your grocery store, especially since it's right there near you. you can cut down Absolutely. on that commute time. So that's really great. Thank you, Don, for that little tidbit into where you guys are located. We also do curbside too. So we have online oh, wow. Go on and do online and walk up or drive up and, and it'll all be ready for you. Yep. That's really awesome. That brings us to the end of this episode. But before we say goodbye, we want to leave you all with a question of the day. Today, our question of the day is, what is your ultimate favorite meal? Like no matter how many times you eat it, you still want more. I can definitely tell you all that mine is Alfredo pasta. So go ahead and comment your response below. We love to read the comments and hear from you all. As always, we appreciate every listening ear that tunes in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a beat. Follow us on social media at CPP Caminos to get notifications and updates about our upcoming workshops and episodes. And don't forget to check out our link tree as you'll be able to directly register for upcoming workshops from there. Thank you. Have a great day.